absolutely. Um, now, what are you up to these days, Bob? Do you have any current projects, personal or professional? I mean, I consider myself kind of retired from comics. I did a job, uh, Craven the Hunter job, last year for Marvel, um, penciling and inking. Um, nice. But I don't look for work in the comics anymore. Um, I was doing a lot of variant covers. But right now, I'm, I'm more interested in painting. You know, I never did uh, much painting my whole career. I was doing black and white work for the most part. And I like working in color. So... Um, I want to do take a break from comics and and just do some landscapes or uh, you know portraits or or whatever. Mm -hmm. Tries try is to that just for yourself or is that will that be for available? Uh, in the beginning, just for myself, I've done a couple landscapes that are hanging on the wall in the living room. Mm -hmm. um, I'm doing a portrait of one of my sons right now, and um, eventually I'll probably hopefully do some like fantasy type paintings to sell to fans. Mm -hmm. um, but I just want to do some, you know, cause I've done so little, just want to kind of experiment um, and, you know, not what worry about you, what media are you playing with right now, Bob? Uh, basically acrylic and oil and watercolor. I did a little uh, watercolor. I've done one, I think one watercolor, a couple acrylics, a couple oils. Uh, I haven't tried pastels. Don't really care that much about pastels. Um, my next one's probably going to be an oil painting again. I know uh, you have a website currently where uh, we can find your comic work for those that do want to purchase your stuff. Yeah, my website's very simple, bobmcleod.com. Yep. Um, I'm on Facebook occasionally and uh, have a Patreon page. Um where I post uh, scans of my work that I've, I started way back in the seventies. Um, I think Joe Rubenstein might've suggested it originally that I make a Xerox copy of my pages. Uh, and I was thinking, well, yeah, if they get damaged or lost in the mail, I don't want to have to do them again. So mm -hmm. I started Xeroxing everything that I did. So I pretty much got my whole career um, in digital form. Um, and so I post those on my Patreon page, samples before and after they were inked or, you know, whatever, um, along with whatever various projects I did outside of comics, I'll, I'll, I'll post on there. Um, sure. Yep. Yeah, there it is. Bob McCloy.com. McLeod, rather. I don't know why I just said it wrong. I've been saying it right the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's You're funny is, is so many people get me, uh, confused with bob layton oh guess, wow iron guess, man artist bob layton yes okay <laughs> i don't understand why you are two very different gentlemen but like, we, I guess, we we're very did we look different uh different personalities um our styles are not really uh similar i don't think um but we started close to the same time we're both named bob we both did a lot of inking so I guess it's somewhat understandable, but it's funny how often uh, people uh, get us confused. And I've almost never done Iron Man, uh, and I don't think he's ever done the New Mutants. <laughs> so, our, you know, we did totally different things in our careers, really. Right. Now, and I know the season's over, but are you still doing the con circuit on occasion? Yes. Um, was just in uh, Columbus, Ohio at a convention. Uh I was doing a lot of conventions. I'm trying to cut back a little and only like a half dozen a year, maybe from now mm -hmm. on. Um, but there's some that are really fun to do that I want to keep going to. I really like Baltimore Con and Heroes Con. Yeah, both Cliff Two and I. Two of my go favorites you just named. <laughs> yeah. And then Cliff and I both go to Terrificon. Terrificon's another one, you know, because they're more uh, centered around comics, uh, mm -hmm. not so much with the TV celebrities that a lot of them are, are getting more into now. Sure. Uh, so they're more fun for us comic artists. Um, so those those are probably my top three, um, but there's a lot of them that are really fun to go to. Um, everybody's always so great at these conventions. The, the people running them are nice, and the fans are always great to meet. Um, it, it's, it's wonderful that we are in a business where we have fans. You know, I always say I, I wish every job would have fans. <laughs> 
because it's it's wonderful to meet people who actually appreciate the work that you do. Yeah, absolutely. And we appreciate the time and you sharing all your great stories. Thank you so much. Hey, sure. Very, very happy to.